in line two, now they're going to talk about the deeds, because uh, it says what deeds you did in their days. And so now they're going to tell them uh, exactly the deeds that God did. It says in line two, how you drove out the nations with your hand, talking about the Gentiles, but them you planted, talking about, um, you know, his people, the Israelites, how you afflicted the peoples and cast them out. All right, so it gives us a reference scripture to Exodus 15, 17. Exodus 15, 17, that says, You will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. All right. And then, so that sends us to... Um, Psalm 80, line 8. So Psalm 15 sends us to Psalm 80, line 8. 80, line 8. And 15. So 80, 8, and 15. So it says, You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You have cast out the nations. And planted it. All right. Then we're going to drop down to 15 in, in Psalm 80. That says, In the vineyard which your right hand has planted, and the branch you made strong for yourself. All right. And then so now it sends us to uh, Psalm 2.6. Send us on to six that says, Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. All right. And it also sends us to 7854. These are all reference scriptures based upon how God had planted. 7854 and 68 7854 and he brought them to his holy border the mountain which his right hand had acquired all right and also we're going to drop to 68 but chose the tribe of Judah Mount Zion which he loved all right so those are the reference scriptures for um exodus 15 so we're going to go back to psalm 44 okay we're going to have a lot of reference scriptures and cross reference scriptures but we'll get through everything by the grace of god i'm just trying to stay in order all right so so here it is it says back in on uh, line two in psalm 44 how you drove out the nations with your hand, but them you planted you how you have how you afflicted the peoples and cast them out. All right, so you afflicted, uh, he drove out the nations or the, the Gentiles or the heathens, either one you want to call them. All right, and then look at line three it says, For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did they nor did their own arm save them, but it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance because you favored them. So because of the favor of God, God uh, allowed them to overcome, allowed them to what? To be planted um, in the place that he had for them. Now it sends us to, for it says, for they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword that sends us to Deuteronomy 8 17 and 18 Deuteronomy 8 17 and 18 
that says, Then you said, say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gained me this wealth, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish or confirm his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. So what God is telling us is that the things that we have, the, the, uh, the victories that we have, the wealth that we have, it comes from him. He get, He's the one who gives us the power to gain those things. All right. And so it sends us um, back to uh, Deuteronomy 7, 8, and 12. That says, but because the Lord loves you and because he would keep the oath which you swore to your fathers, the Lord has brought you out, of a, out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage or the house of slaves from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt and then also in um, this other one 12 Deuteronomy 7 12 yeah it says then it shall come to pass because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them that the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the mercy which he swore to your fathers all right and then it sends us to hosea 2 8 hosea 2 8 that says for she did not know that i gave her gain gave her grain new wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. All right. So, um, so God, you know, this is dealing with the judgment of God. That the things, that blessings that was given were given to them, they use it for the devil. All right. And so, of course, God is not going to be pleased with that. All right. And so, uh, we're going to go ahead and break here, and then we're going to pick it up in line four.